hey, are you like me and want to use Canva to uh, basically create documents and things like that, but you feel overwhelmed with trying to remember all of the fonts that you absolutely love? Yes, me too. So I have a simple little quick hack to make your life way easier. So stay tuned and I'll show you how. So now what I'm going to do is uh, show you exactly how to create your um, cheat sheet for your fonts in Canva. Let me go ahead and screen share here and I'm going to just show you really quickly. So right here is Canva's homepage. So what we want to do is go to create a design up here in the top corner and we want to just create uh, custom dimensions. And so I just put this in inches and I just do eight and a half by 11, which is, you know, just a normal size document. And then um, we're going to call this, you can go ahead and label this font loves, uh, fonts I love. And that way you'll have it saved and you know exactly what you're looking for and all of that fun stuff. So you could even get, you could leave it blank like a bare white background, or you could go over here to um backgrounds and use some of your favorite ones that you like this one's free and you'll always know when something's free in canva versus if it's not free it'll have like a little crown um to where it says you know basically it's like the pro version and so that generally cost um a dollar or so um when you're using those and so i tend to like the marble background um and so let me blow this up I don't know, for some reason, the background one looks a little bit duller um, than when I go, and you can tell these are ones, okay, so see, this one looks more bright. Okay, let's just change that out and we'll just make this our background and you can turn with that little wheel that's right there. You want it at a 90 degree angle. You pull it across and then down and bam, you've got it fit, okay? All right, so now what I'm going to do is go over here to fonts. You have three different font app, um, options over here and you just wanna type in, you know, you just wanna pick one of these. This is basically a small, medium and a large of the font options. And you're not committed to or married to any of these. This just gives you a starting point. So you just hit add a heading so you could do that first one and what I do is I go right here and I do add heading and then I type in the name of the font that I absolutely love so dancing script hold on <laughs> is one of my favorite fonts and I want to highlight that and I want to go over here and now I'm going to type that into the search bar where you see over here and here pops up dancing script. So I know this is a great, um, you know, basically uh, font for me to use and choose from. And so you can kind of keep it this size. And what I also, another little quick hack that I like to do is basically duplicate this. So I like to duplicate this by hitting this right here that little icon and I just pull this over here next to that and then I move to the next script that I absolutely love and it is Bon O Bodini FLF I think that's how you pronounce it <laughs> and so you type this in Okay, and then there it is. And the idea is um, with today when you're creating documents and flyers and things like that, you always wanna pair basically a script font with a block font. That's the idea um, that's aesthetically pleasing to the eye. And it just looks really good, really sharp. And um, you wanna find you know, block fonts that you really love and a script font that you really love. Also over here, you can see like how when you're looking right under the search bar in Canva, there's different types of um, 
you know, fonts that you can look for. So you can look for handwriting font, corporate font, um, you know, display fonts. Uh, so you can scroll through and start to find, you know, different ones that you like. Um, but it gets to be overwhelming because Canva, that's one of the really amazing things about it is that it has so many good fonts and you're like, okay, was that the one I used? And then you're just not sure. And so this way you've got your list and you're never confused on which one you want to do. So then uh, the next font that I'm gonna do is Moon Time. Before I do that, let's go ahead duplicate this okay and you know what yeah okay this is what i want to do so that i'm seeing you know it's like alternating here so we're gonna do moon time and now we're gonna go look for it and here it is this is a really great font i generally pair this with a um a block font something similar to you know like that um and then i you know basically create start to begin to create my documents so now let's go ahead duplicate that let's pull this over here and then now the next font that we're going to use uh -oh, is beautiful and we're going to go over here just look for beautiful okay and that's another uh, really pretty cursive font, okay? And there's different um, times where certain fonts are okay, and you just need different things for different types of documents. And this will give you basically um, multiple options, and you can make a decision really quickly on which ones you need. Now, the next one that we're going to do is we need to make a copy. Pull that here and let's go M-O-N-S-P-E-R-R-A-T. I think that's how you spell it. Let's see. Maybe it's in my. <laughs> oh, I may actually have to go about this one the hard way. That's so, so not fun. So the other option is you can go in here, go down, scroll till you get to the M's and you're gonna look for what you're looking for. <laughs> and this one's called Montserrat, I think. I'm not sure, sometimes the names are a little, a little creative. Okay, so we're, we want to do the Montserrat um, Classic. You can do that one. And you cannot do the uh, extra, you could do extra bold if that's one you like, or you could do the extra light. So I'm gonna do a few while I'm here um, because the, this one tends to be one that I, I do use um, for different things, so. And this one's extra light. And I'm going to stretch it out. But then I'm going to bring it down because this is Vex, vector um, platform like option here. So you can like change it by pulling the corners here. The next font that I'm going to do, and I'm just going to duplicate this. And we're going to put this one down here and it's called Sansing. No, give 
Yugori. There's another one. So here's where I'll just type it in. And that's it. So pretty, isn't it? Like, oh my gosh. I love script fonts, <laughs> as you can tell. Okay. And typewriter is always another really cool one to do. Um, typewriter. Oh, you know what? Let's do true typewriter. Okay. And then we're going to double, we're going to duplicate that. And we're going to write true typewriter. Okay. And we'll click that. And now it's going to make it true typewriter. Okay. So here's a really quick way for you to just look very quickly at the fonts that you absolutely love and make your life a little bit easier. And then basically you're just gonna, you know, every time you do something new to each of your documents in Canva, it's gonna save it. And you could even add some of these over here if you tend to use like some of these. So you could use Sparkle. I would probably change this to pink because I know that I'm gonna be using a pink more than likely. So this gives you like, you know, several different ones. This one right here, perfect. It's already got the name in there. So you're good there with these and you can just, you know, save them. So that way, you know, um, which ones you're, uh, you're doing. Hold on. You know what? This is actually not the right name. I'm thinking, oh yeah, it has the name. So this one's moon time. So we know that we love moon time. So I know um, that's in there already. This one is Nicolani, Nicolan, Nicoli, Nick, Nick So anyways, let's just do, anytime you make a mistake or you wanna get back what you took, you just hit that back arrow and it'll bring it back. And so here's how you would do it. C A N L E Y. And a lot of times what's happened with these fonts, they're grouped together. So you can hit ungroup. And then this way it gives you just that one, that one font. And then on this one, I'm just going to put good vibes so that I know when I'm looking for this neon type sign that it's going to be um, in the good vibes. It's going to say good vibes on it because sometimes you can just look for it that way. And then the you're invited. That's moon time with just a different um, uh, effect to it. Ungroup. Let's just duplicate the invited and we'll put moon time. And I'm just going to put that right below there and let's just do black for the whole thing. And then this begins to build your list, like I said. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll duplicate that and here we are. And so that way I know it's gonna say sparkle whenever I'm looking for it over here, but it's um, the font is actually moon time. And so this is really cool. And this is gonna save all of your fonts on one sheet and you can look at it very quickly and see, oh my gosh, that's perfect. That's exactly the font I want. And you can just kind of roll right along. The thing I would probably do is print this off and laminate it um, and you could laminate it or put it in the sheet protector. You'll probably add to this over, you know, 
the time that you're using this. So if you're, you know, pretty solid on the few that you've got, you could go ahead and laminate it. And then that way you could totally have it um, for, you know, the way you want to uh, reference it. So anyhow, I hope this is helpful and I'll talk to you later. Bye.